I was in the party um, two years ago, I think, and um, I was socializing with different nationalities as well. And um, this Arabic-speaking guy ap approached me, and he was he seems nice, he seems decent, he was in Western clothes, and then he, he was okay, he was talking in Tagalog. So that's the one reason why I started chatting up with him as well. He was very good in, in, in our language. And then when I finally sensed that he was trying to pursue me, he was like, uh, no, it's okay, he said. I said, what do you mean okay? Uh, he has two wives, he said, so it's fine by him. I said, why will it be okay? And I told him that I'm married and my husband's outside playing ball with my daughter. And he said, um, no, being married is fine because we can have four wives. And I said, that's not possible. And then he said, you mean you're not like the other Filipinas? There's this girl in my class. She's so annoying. She won't stop teasing me. She won't stop bullying me. I don't know why. It's like, she won't stop telling me that you're just a Filipina. She won't stop, ugh. One time I got so fed up and annoyed, I had to push her because she was telling me her maid was a Filipina. Just because her maid's a Filipina and I'm a Filipina doesn't mean we're any different from any other nationalities. It doesn't mean she has the right to look down on us just because we're Filipinos. Do not let yourself be affected by all of the negative feedbacks about the Filipinos. And as I've said, work on improving yourself. Unang-una, kailangan uh, merong, merong pagmamahalan ang importante sa family is love. The, the husband and the wife should love each other fully. Uh, and that love will be uh, transferred to their children. When the children see that their parents are loving each other, they will love each other also. And in their own uh, family later on when they get married, they will also follow. She remains desirable all the time. That is my advice to the women. Mm -hmm. The women, if you want your husband to stay on with you, be desirable all the time. It's because uh, she's not swayed by, by just anything or things like that. She has her own uh, opinion, she has her own stand and all these things. And in our case, the moment she says something, I, I immediately approve. The moment I do something, she immediately approves. So what will drive me out of the house? Nothing. Why? Because there is magnetism here. Strong magnetism is her being desirable all the time. First of all, let's put God in everything we do. Have faith in Him. And always remember as a woman, we are the glue and the light of the family. Being said that, we should always make sure that the family comes first in everything we do. Then everything will come very easily. Hi, I'm Mommy. I'm Naomi. And we are best friends. I'm a girl. <laughs> I think another good trait is we're good parents. Kasi nakikita ko sa mga Pilipina, they'll do whatever they can para mapasaya lang yung mga anak nila. In my case, kahit gaano kakabisi sa trabaho, kasama pa rin ang anak mo. In fact, kahit nga nagtatrabaho ko minsan, katabi ko siya sa computer table and she's doing her own stuff. I would probably say that I have it all. Modesty aside, I am, I am just a simple woman. You would say, I'm a wife, a mother, a grandmother. 
But I am a very successful career woman as well. And so kahit gaano ka pressure sa work, I have to make time for my daughter. Kahit gaano kalaki mga problema, you have to smile and you have to show that life is good to them. Kasi ikaw ay example nila eh. Kailangan malaman nila na kahit gaano kahirap ang mundo, gaano kahirap ang buhay, you always have to stay positive. To succeed in our chosen career path, we need a lot of ingredients. First and foremost, we must be having the proper intelligence to use rightly what we have and what we learn will definitely make us successful. We need to be patient. We need perseverance. We need to be guided with the correct motivation of why we want to succeed in life. Take a look at my skin. It's brown. I'm always mistaken for a Malaysian or Singaporean because I'm, well, darker than most of the Filipinos that I see everywhere. And I tell them, no, I always give them three guesses. The first thing they ask me, uh, excuse me, miss, where are you from? Okay, I'll give you three guesses and after that you're out. Um, Malaysian, Singaporean, sometimes Indian, South Indian. I say, no. And where are you from? I'm from the Philippines. No, we don't believe you. I say, yeah, I am Filipino. And I'm proud to be one. I'm singing for all my sisters. Growing up, thinking they don't look right. Because they ain't white. I grew up thinking that I was ugly because my family would call me Lawai, which in Ilongo means ugly. So um, until now, they still call me Lawai, and in the house when I go around, and then they call Lawai. I say, ah, <laughs> it's just a part of me by now. Uh, so I grew up thinking that I was ugly, and um, I think it was just a term of endearment. And uh, I only got over it and I've proven to myself na baka hindi totoo kasi <laughs> sabi ko marami naman ako maniligaw ah <laughs> and then that's when I thought na you are beautiful maganda ka ikaw ay indio ikaw ay pilipino if we're looking at um, some of the challenges I think Philippines face with uh, confidence, I think they do put a lot of pressure, especially in the media, on the exterior beauty. And um, they sometimes undervalue themselves and they're very humble people. So they take it, you know, it's, it's difficult for them to um, show this confidence and their, their, their pride. And I think um, if you spend less energy on all this you know, negative side of the Filipino stigma and focuses as an opportunity to do something positive with it, then it, w it would definitely help. The first thing that people normally say to you is, oh, you changed your hair or you, you gained weight, you put on weight. And instead of you look happy, you look healthy, you look wonderful. Um, I think if everyone starts jumping on this, starts supporting each other more, then everyone's confidence will increase and there'll be a different vibe. And I think this will definitely improve the way things are. Each day we celebrate away the Filipino way, the Filipino.